So what we see here is we see our CAD drawing georeferenced and reprojected to our base map. And this DWG is useful for just understanding the basics, like a spatial information database. However, it's we want to be able to have it in GIS, and GIS is super useful because you are able to actually attribute attribute like rooms and points of interest. So the first process of of actually going about creating your indoors information model is creating that indoors database. So the geoprocessing tool I'm using here is to create indoors database. So I'm running it on a blank geo database here. And once that geo database runs, I'll get all the layers for the ArcGIS indoors information model. Following this step, I would do floor plans to indoors. So that's another geoprocessing tool that I can come over here to my geoprocessing pane and type in here in the search bar. What this tool is going to be doing is it's going to be taking our CAD data and it's going to be shoving it into these, these GIS feature layers. So once the tool is done running, I can add these layers to my map, which I've already done for units, facilities, levels, and details. And if I was to select a polygon such as this conference room, I'll get the ArcGIS indoors information model all calculated from just running that tool. So now I have the building, the building name, the facility name, the level name, important attribution that that's in regards to this facility unit. Following this step, I'd run a feature to point to create points of interest throughout my entire map. The reason we're doing this for feature to point is so that we have points of interest that we can route to and from. So like Jonathan was saying about creating routes from points, this is exactly what we're doing is we're taking, we're taking the features to points, we're creating them for the building units, specifically like conference rooms, office spaces, meeting rooms, elevators, uh, stairways. But we can also create points of interest for uh, AEDs, fire extinguishers, ATMs, other points of interest that are relevant to our facility that we want to have access information to. Following the creating points of interest, we're creating our routing system. So the first tool that we're going to be using to create preliminary tra transitions and pathways to get this lattice throughout our entire facility of all the possible ways we can navigate would be just generating a pathway. So this tool, once it's accomplished running, will look like this lattice that's running throughout your facility. And you can run this tool on multiple facilities, multiple levels. So you're doing one batch conversion. You're not just doing it one by one, making the process seamless. And then the next tool you're running is Thin Pathways. And what the Thin Pathways tool is going to be doing is it's going to figure out the fastest route from that lattice to go from one point to another. And this will also be another tool that's used to batch convert all of your facilities and all of your level data just in one shot so that it's accomplished and you don't have to run it uh, by, single, by single facilities or by single levels. This, this routing network will be published to your enterprise environment where it will be hosted and used in your ArcGIS Indoors web application and your ArcGIS Indoors mobile application. Mm -hmm.